Meet the world's second smallest thermal camera. It says that right up there on the front of the box. That's kind of like saying Margot Robbie is the world's second cutest blonde. And it's a refreshingly bit of honest marketing from the Chinese there. But let's try this out, see what you get in the box, find out how it works, see what it can do for you. Whoa, spooky. This really is a tiny camera. I know they only claim to be the second smallest, but I don't know that you'd want to be any smaller. I've stuck the carabiner that comes with it onto the protective padded carry case, and I think it would be perfect to stick on your key ring if you were using it regularly, because it's really tiny and really light. Of course, you have to download an app. There's yet another app for this device, as there is for everything these days, but the app is quite easy to use. You go into the settings, and the first setting you should click on is to turn the app on automatically as soon as you connect the camera. And then, remember, if you're gonna control the camera while you're looking at something, you want the camera facing away from the screen of the phone. Stick your camera in. and she activates straight away. Pleasingly, the app is really easy to control too from the touch screen of your phone. You can identify points on the image that you want to precisely measure the temperature of. I've got this set in degrees Celsius because I'm in Australia. You can also set it for Fahrenheit. You can also pinch the screen to zoom in, but you do very quickly lose resolution when this happens. You're better off, I think, leaving it in a one-to-one -one ratio and just going closer if you can to your subject. So great, we've got a tiny thermal camera with a good quality app that allows us to identify temperatures at the push of a button, pinch to zoom in. What can we use it for? Well, we can identify hot spots in engines. You can check on the health of your solar panels. You can check for hotspots in electrical equipment around the house. And even identifying hotspots on switchboards. I'm going to get this one checked. You can also check on the welfare of your animals. Hold still there, honey. Yeah, she'll live. To be honest, I can see myself becoming a bit of a pest. And with battery fires becoming more and more common these days, particularly with non-genuine or generic batteries, it's probably worthwhile checking out your charges and your batteries from time to time and see if there's any white spots of heat. So the Thermal Master, apparently the second smallest thermal camera on the market. Whatever. Good marketing there, guys. It is a fantastic product. It has not skipped a beat. It's done exactly what it said it would do. It hasn't done more than that. It hasn't done less. If you work with heat, or if you work with electricity, or if you work with machinery or animals, this could well be an invaluable addition to your keyring. Guys, I'll catch you next week for something else.